Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are ready now. We're ready to build the second half of the Lego Elves, Regana's Magic Shadow Castle. This is just a magnificent set and it's big and it's full of so many just awesome gothic details because, well, it's Regana, the Witch Elves Castle, so it has to be full of evilly goodness. And it really is, it, it lives up to its name. If you missed part one of this build, you can click the little eye up in the corner, which will take you there to watch. And the link will also be in the description box underneath the video. But when you've seen that, make sure you remember to come back because we're about halfway through bag four and we still have a lot left to build. We have just finished Regana's bedroom up here in the treehouse and she now gets a side table with a drink and something to snack on while she's rolling off her curved bed because it's not very comfortable. <laughs> it looks fantastic, but she's not going to be very comfortable sleeping on there. But I do think maybe she doesn't sleep. I don't know. What do you think? Do witch elves need to sleep? <laughs> but we're up to the next room now, and this is an awesome one. You wait till you find out what it is. Here we go. It's starting to starting to look like what it should. So this is a little platform, a little room that goes off the side, and you can see that there are some bottles up the top here with some ingredients. And here we have got a little a little place for her to put the recipes. Recipes for whatever that green obnoxious potion is. Yes, this is her, well, her potion making room. We could pull, call it her apothecary, which you know what? I don't think I've ever said the word apothecary out loud. I think I've only ever read it in books. So I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Apothecary, which is where you go to create potions. Not that we have many apothecaries these days. I'm just gonna keep saying that a few more times. But it's also got her staff. Look at this, her big magical staff sits over here. And it goes up here. See on this overhanging ledge, which I thought was the plank, <laughs> the treehouse plank. It goes up here. That's great. So she can just she can just nick up here from her bedroom and whenever she wants to create an evil magic potion. Perfect. Beautifully placed. And she needs a cauldron, of course. And into it goes uh, mandrake root and uh, eye of mute and some slime and maybe some lizards gizzards. <laughs> yeah, I just made all that up. But I have no idea what's on the recipe because it's all just in squiggly. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna mix it now with her magic wand which will imbue some fabulous magicness into it. <laughs> and while that's busy simmering, <laughs> we'll put some, put some lovely little balconies on here with some more of these great curlicues on them. And these big horned pieces. Oh no, Jinx just fell in the potion. Well, now it has hair of cat in it as well. I wonder if that will affect the end result. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, another balcony over here. <laughs> and Regana can stand over here and just show us how very picturesque it all is. It's got a banner, actually a lot of places to hang these little vinyl banners. And they really add a fabulous touch to the whole thing. And so do these, these little circles. They're such a simple element, but they make it look, they just make it look great. Here's bag number five. We're up to bag number five and we're heading up on top. So we're up, up, up on top of where her bedroom tree house is. Let's see, we're gonna put Regana up here. Some more little balcony pieces. And a lot of black. Lots of black up here. Big black brick wall. No light's gonna come in here. There are some more hooks here. This is outside, so my guess is, ah, yes, look, see? <laughs> we're gonna hang some more banners from them. <laughs> Excellent, they frame it very nicely. And you even get these little sort of, we could maybe put torches in the top like candles. Oh no, we're putting something else in here. But that holds the banner on. The banner's now not just gonna fall off if you turn it upside down, because I'm gonna be picking Regana's Shadow Castle up and tipping it upside down all the time. <laughs> no, I'm really not. Why would you do that? All right, we are now inside this room and this is, well, I don't know what it is yet. 
We're getting a mat of some sort with a fancy pattern on it and a little bowl and is it a toilet? No, it's a little sink. It's got water in it now. Maybe it is a toilet. I don't know. And over here is a little seat. Okay, so it currently looks like it might be her vanity room. Do you know what? I need two actual little hooks here and I've just missed them off. So I need to rebuild this black part. See, now we've got some hooks. Good, good. Ah, uh, now we put a tap above that, so it's definitely not a toilet. And in front of the seat, we get a little hand mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Maybe she does that. <laughs> so she can sit here, she can look in the mirror, or she could take it off the wall. And she must be incredibly vain because she's got two mirrors in here. She's got a big one. A big one that we can angle downwards and upwards which she can have a look at her full outfit in and another little hand mirror that I suppose she can sit down and check out her f facial features or do her makeup in if we can get her to sit on that seat at all. Nope, she's just gonna stand up for now. So she's got a vanity room up here. No bathroom, she doesn't sleep. Uh, and, and Well, she, she's got a bed, but it's not very comfortable and she doesn't have a bathroom. She just has a vanity room. So maybe she doesn't go to the toilet either. I don't know. She she is evil. Maybe she magics all that sort of stuff away. <laughs> but she's got all these lotions on the side. They look good. There. That, there we go. So her vanity room is done. That's good. Missing a few important things. <laughs> a few important amenities. But, well, you know, this might just only be for show. Maybe she comes here when she's going to be super duper evil and she goes home to a nice little cozy cottage in the woods when she actually wants to sleep and use a bathroom. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> now I'm just being silly. Oh, goodness. And, um, radio. So Nida has ducked up into this bathroom, into this vanity room, to uh, check it out. Look. But it is. It's all very picturesque. It's all very, very much for show. All of these rooms. You can have a look at them through the archways. It's magnificent. I really love it. Oh, look. We even get a torch on the wall so that she gets good, good lighting to be able to check her outfit. And a brush is attached to the other hook. Very nice. Well, Regana, this is going very well. What's happening on the outside here now? We're getting to the top of this tower. So right up on the very top, here's Regana just to show you, there's uh, cherries and a biscuit. And what is this? Oh, it's a baby bottle. Do you know, I think that's where she's going to be putting the baby dragon egg right up the top so that it's nice and safe. Uh, yes, the baby princess dragon. We'll have to have a look and see whether that's where we install it later. But I think that's who the bottle is for. And now we've got this interesting, it's just a piece of ornamentation for the front of her castle, really. Can't get that little diamond square on straight. There we go. Oh, that looks that looks nasty. That looks like a dragon head with little horns. That's very cool. And that goes right on the front of the tower. And we get some more of these. Oh, wow. Wow. That's fantastic. What a great frame for Regana too when she's standing up there right on the top. And when we put the little baby egg up there, that's going to look fantastic. Uh, and we get a couple of candelabras here with green crystals in them. That's a very nice feature. Oh, I just love it all. It just looks so good. Okay, bag number six. I'm so excited. This is going so well. So what, what possibly is there to build next? We've got one nice big tall tower. What do we have now? I can see a little waterfall. This looks like an earthy element with some uh, with some rock wall here and the waterfall. Little lavender pieces. Here are some more of those crystals in those poisonous colours. Don't think anything healthy grows around the around the castle of Regana. There's a fire element because she used to be a fire elf before she decided that she was going to be evil. I wonder if she can command that wall of fire. 
and some more of the pink foliage with those nasty green things in them. Oh, this is looking awesome. Now I wonder where we put this. We're still going to have to find out. Oh, okay, so, oh, I know what it is. It's a little underground, look at that. It's a stalagmite. Stalagmites going up, the little pointy things next to the waterfall. It's a little underground cavern with the water running through it and the little stalactites, is it tights? No, mites go up, stalagmites go up. Wow, that looks magnificent, I love that. Now on the side of that, we get to build a little room that has a special mechanism for magic. And we're going to put Ira in here just so that you can see the perspective, see how big it is. It's actually a teeny tiny little room. You might already have an idea of what this room is for. So this is going to be next to the underground cavern, the little cave, underneath Regana's castle. There's some little mossy steps going up there with some drippy moss. Oh, it looks fantastic. <laughs> I need to stop saying that, but it really does. I just love all the details in here. Okay, have you got an idea yet? This looks like it could be a window, if it were an ordinary room, a very tiny room, all bricked up in the rock wall down here. And we have this, ah, we have a moving element on the top, so a little lever that we can pull out and a hidden hatch with <laughs> with a nice little little carpet above it to make you think that it's just a, a nice little spot to stand but no when you pull that out ready Regana's gonna try it out oh, oh she just toppled over the side that's not very safe so she falls down into this room which is very soon to become her dungeon the prison underneath the throne room in Regana's castle Oh, this is epic. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Uh, good. So here are the bars on the front of the dungeon. We'll put this over the top. And that's not very secure at all. I can move those bars. I can push them out of the way. Right. That's not secure. Hmm. <laughs> okay. We need some more of those vines so that we know that it's not a nice place to be. Nasty green vines. And we need the prison door on the other side, or the prison wall, because the only way in and out is through the trap door at the top. Or is it? <laughs> so if we put Regana in here, there is not much room. It is very hard to slot her in here. I can't stand her up. She'll have to sit down. We can put the wall on. Look, she's trapped. She's trapped in there forever. And look. Oh, she looks cross. I think she always looks cross. <laughs> we're going to leave her there while we open up bag number seven because I don't know how we're going to get her out. I'll have to show you later. It is a trick and it's such a good one. <laughs> but while Regana is busy residing down there in the uh, dungeon, I'm going to build a bridge to go across from one side of this to the other. Now, because this is a bridge that belongs to an evil witch, of course it's wobbly. So it's on those little round pieces, which means it's going to tip and turn if we so wish it to. And there are some steps to go down to it. See, so she can go in here, but oh no! So she's going to have to be very careful. You have to watch out for traps in Regana's magic shadow castle. She's not the nicest of elves. I think we already know that. So now we get her throne room and it's got all these branches coming off it. Love the treehouse element of the whole thing mixed in with the rock and the mountain and yeah, I think you probably have already gathered that I love it all. Oh look, there's a twisty turny bit. <laughs> we have to put something on that. And if it is the throne room, can you guess what we need on it? I think you probably can guess. I'm building it right now. Now, if you were a magic evil elf and you were, well, you thought that you were going to take over Elvendale, what would you need in your throne room? You would need a fabulous, fabulous throne worthy 
of the ruler of Elvendale, or so she wants to be. <laughs> so we need a fantastic throne. And it really is. Look at that. Let's go and install it. <laughs> You're going to need to move out of the way, Ira. And there. We might... I'm just going to sneak Regana out of the prison here, out of the dungeon. We're going to sit her on here so she can... Try it out for comfort, for size. Yes, she looks very much at home there. And Jinx has come to... Oh, no! Well, obviously Jinx angered Regana. Oh, and Ira's angered Regana, And they're all in the in the dungeon down here. And I can't get them out again. No, 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 don't look. Can't see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I promise I'll show you soon. I promise, I promise. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So Regana is now sitting on her throne while we continue with her throne room. And she, of course, is going to need to be perfectly framed in a little archway here. It looks so good. Some purple pillars with some green moss over them. Or drippy green slime. What do you think? Definitely some more foliage. a little platform a little circle platform and it has got uh, what well, looks like a, a strawberry strawberry milkshake a strawberry sundae and it goes up here up the top and what else do we get up there we'll have to see we're now building up above Regana very nice oh we got some sushi some sushi and a strawberry milkshake or thick shake or sundae. I think this might be a place where Jinx might call home, might be Jinx's little bed. Some more lovely, lovely, horrible, evil foliage with green and pink. Who would have thought green and pink would go together so well? We can put it in here. That's so good. Now we're putting the finishing touches on up here. There, see, Jinx can Jinx can have a little sleep up here. Now this is nice. Look at this. Well, nice in an evil sort of way. She gets a chandelier all of her own. A poisonous green chandelier for her throne room. Just to make it even more powerful looking. And Jinx is coming down here to try and sit. This is not working. Ah... Uh, so, yeah, but you can't sit on your little mossy step next to the throne room. I've done something wrong again. Oh, what have I done? Right, I need to take all of this off. And I need to... Oh, see, look, I just need to turn that around. That branch was facing the wrong way, which meant it was overhanging and Jinx couldn't sit on there. It was in the way. My goodness, I've made some mistakes with the orientation of these pieces for this set. It's pretty tricky. There we go. Now you can jump down onto that little mossy seat next to the throne. And in front of the throne, we need a very special platform, a very special pedestal to put Regana's. What is it? Let's see. We need to put these little rubbery thorns in. We need... Oh, I can't get that in. I can never get the little single studs in. I'm going to put two in and then take the top one off. There. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at this. It is Regana's magic Ball. Ooh, that's so cool. <laughs> and that part now clicks on over to here. There. So we can go from the bedroom across. We just need to click them on with these pieces. And the top step, the bedroom across the wibbledy wobbledy bridge. See? Yep, she can go straight to her throne room. This is fantastic. So this is the whole set built, but we still need to put the baby princess dragon's egg up here. So look, it is the, the centerpiece, well, the top centerpiece right at the top. It looks great. Okay, now I'll show you. you. Ready? This is how you get out of the... Look, see, you press that and it eases, it flicks the back wall out like magic. Woo! If nobody sees your fingers, they won't know that you're doing that. That's so awesome. There you are. There's the whole set. We'll go all the way up. Look at it. 
Look at all those details. I'm so glad I showed you them all in fine, fine detail because, well, there are so many. It's just magnificent. Down the back with all the inside. Ah, oh, I love it so much. All right, it might be time now to play with it. So here we go. Regana is here making her magic potion. Looks like she's just about to put in some unicorn horn. Hmm. While that's busy cooking, the magic ball. There's something happening with the magic ball. She's coming to see. <gasps> Looks like those good elves are coming to try and rescue the baby dragon egg. Meanwhile, Jinx has popped up here for a bit of a snack because he doesn't seem to be too worried at all. <laughs> right, so, hmm. It looks like Regana is out here making some plans for when the elves arrive. Here they are. Okay. What are they going to do? Oh, you're going to go in by the front door. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Do you think anyone will be expecting that? You could just knock on it, I suppose. Oh, no, look, it's magically shooting you inside. Ah, uh, see, no, but Regana's not in here. No baby dragon egg in here either. Hmm, you'll have to check somewhere else. Okay, up on the second level, here's Regana's bedroom. I'm gonna have to keep looking. Ah, well done, girls. Up on the very top, you found the baby dragon egg. <gasps> and it's just hatched. That was perfect timing. Now, you are gonna have to get Astari and her, uh, her, <laughs> her baby bottle out of this castle without Regana knowing. So, yes, awesome idea to go through the throne room because yeah well here's Regana she knew you were here all along I would watch out elves because she's gonna put you in the dungeon oh but pff. right so when Jinx went to jump down Jinx then <laughs> activated the trapdoor and now they're both trapped in the dungeon so not the brightest of cats by the look of it so off go the girls with the dragon there they go Regana is still trapped down there in the dungeon but <gasps> She's magicked herself out. Watch out, Nida and Ira. Oh, good. You're going to use your catapult. Or you could just run. So let's see. Yep, you've missed her with two. Yeah, you, there we go. See, you, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just knock her off. Ta-da. See, you should have done that in the first place. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I do hope you enjoyed the build. Please subscribe. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Check out some of my other silly videos. And I'm going to see you for another one very, very soon.